You know, success is becoming the total person God wants me to be and accomplishing the goals that God helps me to set for my life. And if God helps us set goals, they're gonna be big goals, challenging goals that require people. And whenever we're talking about people, we're talking about leadership and management. In my opinion, there are two easy ways to be able to think about that management philosophy. Either we're gonna conduct a symphony or we're gonna play hockey. You know, growing up in the South, we didn't play much hockey, but it sure looked to be like an exciting game. Guys out here on ice with a little skate zone, and pretty soon a ref would blow the whistle, have a hockey puck, he'd drop the puck, and all kind of bedlam would break out with all kind of excitement that would be taking place. In fact, the players got so excited, they actually get involved in fist fights. But you know, a lot of people manage that way as well, and it can last for a while, but it can be sustained great performance over a long period of time. In fact, even the great hockey player Wayne Gritsky said, while all the other players go to where the puck is, I try to anticipate and go to where the puck is headed. Hey, there is an alternative to playing hockey as a leadership style. Unlike the excitement of a hockey game, conducting an orchestra may even look boring until we hear that final performance. Conductors know that they sometimes may have to work even for years with a composer to get out of their head and their heart notes that they can hear, that they get it out on paper. Once they get it out on the paper, scores are written out for every instrument in the orchestra. They know not only every note, they know all the dynamic changes, and they rehearse, and they rehearse, and they rehearse, because Great performances are much more than just playing the notes. It's all about playing the music. So leading an orchestra, just like in management, is very much like planning your work and working your plan. So what's it gonna be? A conductor's baton or a hockey puck? Well, as prepared as I like to be, unexpected surprises happen all the time. So I'm gonna be ready to play a little hockey along the way but I'm packing a conductor's baton in my leadership toolkit.